Hello everyone and welcome back to the next Transformers Studio Series review. In this video, it's not going to be a review, but instead a ranking video. And yes, I have not done a ranking video ever since probably maybe last year or earlier this year that was a uh, Wave 10 ranking video. But now, I'm returning with more ranking videos because, well, hey, um, what what's the best Studio Series of this wave, what that wave, and so on. So, this video where we're going to be ranking the, the Studio Series figures that came out um, just now in like late 2021 which is actually i believe wave 14 i believe this is wave 14 of the transformer studio series line and i will be um doing a review i mean well kind of this is going to be a ranking video and i will also show you some cool thing you can do with the studio series jolt and dino so without further ado like always how a ranking video is always going to be it's going to be my least favorite to the most favorite now not to say that any of these figures sucked these figures are one of the best, and this is probably one of the strongest waves, one of the best waves we got from the Studio Series line currently at the moment. So I think that, that um, this wave was the best, and personally, many of you are going to think, ah, why why did the Young Transformer do put this guy at the at the lowest level? It's because, because, well, like, these ones are a bit better and stuff, so... So yeah, obviously we're going to start from the from my least favorite to my most favorite, and... and um, so yeah, that's how uh, that's what's gonna be. So now let's first take a look at my least favorite, but not to say that if the figure sucked, it was really great. But this figure, I'll um is actually just my least favorite. So without further ado, let me show you the least favorite figure out of the way the the way fourteen. Um, that being the Transformers Studio Series seventy four Deluxe Class Bumblebee with Sam Witwicky. Now this figure, honestly, it was a nice figure and all. It came with a miniature Sam figure. I would, I won't bring it out though. Um, it was a really nice figure. Everything about this figure was great. A perfect mold. Perfect everything about this figure. Just for full three hundred and sixty, we can see this figure is absolutely amazing and stuff. There was no there was no um, complaints I had except probably with the paint applications where that was concerned. Um, that's the only complaint I really did have. I really wish they painted it in more silver, but but that wasn't such such a major thing. So there was really no complaints with these figures whatsoever. So I really. This figure is actually on the least, but due to the fact that um, that um, the rest of the figures were just so much better than this one. And not to say this one was terrible by any stretch of your imagination. It was really nice. I I uh, it was just that uh, that the other figures were just a bit more superior than this one. Now speaking of other things, I want to show you the box that he that he came with. However, um, you're gonna notice that this is a completely different box from the from the Studio Series one. This is actually gonna be the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee um, box. And honestly, I hate the Buzzworthy Bumblebee box. I don't know why I just hate the box, but um, I I didn't get the the original Studio Series box because I was impatient and I just wanted this figure like crazy earlier this year. So I got, so technically, if you got the Buzzworthy one, you got it early, but the CGI on the new box is a little bit different than this one, so just to point that out. Um, the box, the bottom of the box shows that he transforms from a robot to his robot form to his, I believe, 2009, 2010 Camaro form, so that is really cool. The miniature Samuel Wiki figure, his, his iconic movie scene, the blah, 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 Pyramid Desert Battle, and then we know the rest. Um, the side of the box has the horrendous Buzzworthy Bumblebee right here as well. I I don't really like the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Studio Series. It always seems much more better than the box art. Right here, the CGI, and right there, the details of the figure. So, um, that, was, that was my ranking for the Transformers Studio Series 74 for um, Deluxe Class Bumblebee with Sam Wick. Now, let's move on to the next candidate. Now, this figure, um... Now, I w I w I'm really debating who should be in third and second place. Well, now I have come to a conclusion who will be the, th the third place in this ranking video. That being the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Thrust. Now, this figure is an absolute amazing figure. As you did see in my original Thrust review and my Starscream review, I really do like the mold. Easy, easy transformation. Um, very com It's complex, yet easy. So, I really did really like this mold. Everything about this figure was amazing. This is why he takes third spot, and I think that he was one of the one of the strongest releases of, of, the, wa of the wave... Um, wave 14, and I think that this just looks really, really cool. Thrust thrust um with starscream so we got starscream and we are getting um thundercracker next year so i'm really excited to get more of those bumblebee seekers in my collection and i think that this looks really cool um he, 
the posability on this figure is endless. You could have him pose in multiple different ways, and I really do like this figure. This is one of my favorite Transformers Studio Series molds that they have ever released. Not the favorite figure, but one of my favorite molds, and I think that this figure is probably probably making it to the top 10 of my of my favorite Transformers Studio Series figures that I have at the moment. And, and this figure is actually quite amazing, um, pretty simple to transform. Like I said, the colors, everything look, looks Bumblebee movie accurate. Although, you're probably wondering, wh why the heck is, is Thrust green? Well, in the Transformers Bumblebee movie, the directors decided to make him green instead of red. And if you remember the original G1 Transformers, Thrust was always red. But in the Bumblebee movie, he's green. And I really do like that. I thought he was going to be Acid Storm, but no, this figure is actually Thrust. Looks really cool and everything. Speaking of stuff that are re looks really cool, now let's take a look at the box art on Thrust. And oh boy, I was blown away by this box art. I really did like how it looked. Like the 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 CGI looked so so amazing. It looked exactly like that scene when Thrust and Thundercracker were shooting down on some Autobots, and Bumblebee comes between them and then like throws a Seeker or something. But anyways, uh, I really do like that CGI I captured that Bumblebee movie moment. The side of the box looks amazing. I really do like how he looks like. The the front side looks amazing. Thrust, Bumble, Transformers Bumblebee, Studio Series 76. He transforms in 30 steps from a from his Seeker robot mode to his Seeker jet form. And I really did like that. His iconic movie scene is when Cybertron falls. And then this side of the box, it shows the his uh, cooler version right here. But instead, he, he it's a black background. And I really do like that. It gives me a, cyber, a Bumblebee movie Cybertron vibe. So I really do like this figure and the box was really really amazing so so yeah so this figure takes the third spot on the list of my tra of the Transformers Studio Series Wave 14 now let's go on to the next candidate now this candidate I was and now for these last two the the for the second one and the first one I am still debating at this moment who it should be but uh, I'd say it's a tie between Jolt and Grinder which are the rest of the candidates right now so I'll just give you the second one and the and the first one I'll I'll, I'll do a ranking of both of them at the same time so without further ado let's bring in our Transformers Studio Series Grindor and Jolt, and wow, these figures are amazing. I was, I'm still debating at this moment who should be second, who should be first. I mean, the accuracy on these figures is amazing. But I think I'm gonna go with Grindor being second. I just think Jolt's looks is just like just too good to be true. So let will just take a look at Grindor instead. Um, the Grinder, this figure is absolutely amazing. If you saw my video, you know that I love this figure. The only complaint I had was no complaints that um, just the transformation was a bit was a bit finicky. But overall, this is just an amazing, amazing figure. The head sculpt, the the the, the whole body sculpt, in fact, is just amazing. And in fact, this figure is actually compatible with the DNA design kit that came with Sentinel. The 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 that was released for Sentinel Brian, Blackout, and Bumblebee. So that is really great that this um, figure is compatible with that. And I really do like this figure. The the new the new rust detailing on this looks really, really cool. Everything about this figure was really cool. And he did even include he did include a miniature Ravage figure, which I was not expecting. They, they should have released it with Soundwave, but I guess I guess just so that they could get this out of their chest. They, they, they released him with Grinder and not looking too bad I think and also one of the best things about Grinder was that was that hand sculpt and now they the hands could move unlike the original hands which were just like plain little plain little puppet hands or something they the original hands just look terrible but now these ones make up for it and look so so much cooler so yeah, um, Grinder takes a second place in the Transformers Studio Series line, and I think that he looks so amazing. And now, speaking of amazingness, let's take a look at the box art he has. Now, and this box art, when I first saw it, when we first saw that um, that listing on eBay, I was all like, no way. And the box art, even up to this day, looks amazing. We have Grinder and Ravage 73. Um, uh, his head right here, we can see he transforms in 46 steps from robot to helicopter mode and the little miniature Ravage figure. He has the forest fight, that's his iconic movie scene. And right here we get a black black background of, of Ravage and Grinder, and I think that this looks really cool. The, the backdrop is amazing. Everything about these four figures is amazing. And well, Grinder takes the second place in the Transformers, in the, in the, um, in the Transformers Studios 
Studio Series Wave 14, Wave 14 um, part of the collection. So, Grinder takes the second place. And now, the one and only Jolt is going to take the first place right now. And jolting his way or electrifying his way to the top, for the first spot of the collection has to go to Transformers Studio Series Jolt. I mean, this is the first movie accurate Jolt figure ever, and it just, it's amazing. I don't know what Hasbro could do better than this figure. It's amazing. This figure is cool. But it's, it, this figure was like outside the box thinking. I really do like it. It looks exactly like his CGI render. Um, although we only see him for like 10, 15 seconds of the movie. That, um, not that much time, but still, uh, those, those little seconds captured from the movie just made this figure and this figure just looks amazing the head sculpt uh, I'm pretty unsure about the head sculpt it's a bit obscure but I'll go with it I think it looks amazing um the whips do look amazing and everything the whole figure itself is amazing the the whips the claws everything about this figure the, even the paint applications was amazing I had no complaints with this figure whatsoever except that that you gotta be really careful or else you could chip a piece off like I showed you in my, in my initial review. Watch that review if you wanna learn more about those Transformers Studio Series Jolts, which came out a few days ago. Um, so yeah, if you if you wanna watch that review, watch it. I regret, I recommend it. And well, this figure, everything about this figure looks amazing. It's a, it's a small figure, yet it has so much compact in him. This figure, like I said, my initial review, he is more than meets the eye. So that was the that was the first this this is the first um take um this is the first this is the guy in the first place of the wave 14 ranking. So now um before we conclude this video and I will show you all the boxes and everything, I do want to show you one cool thing you could do with the whips of Jolt with his electro whips and that they are compatible with the Studio Series Dino. And we do know that about that Studio Series Dino is that he did not come with the whips and we really wanted those whips. Um, and you can only get them like on upgrade kits or whatnot. But but now with the Electro whips that came with Jolt, well, I, I feel like I feel like um, Has Hasbro just 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 made our day with these Electro whips. Even though they're not movie accurate, I still put them on Dino to make to make them look like he what he he actually is gonna. He's actually gonna whip a hatchet or a Decepticon or something, and I think that this looks really cool. Dino with these whips looks really cool. Although they belong to Jolt, I still th think that these look cool. So I will be displaying Jolt and Dino like this in the collection. I'll be displaying Jolt with his regular fingers and Dino with these Electro whips. Cause I mean, come on, Dino without elec with without whips couldn't be Dino. So that. Uh, that about um, is my Transformers Studio Series ranking video. And now I'm going to show you the boxes and all the figures that, that come with, with this Wave 14. So, just like that, that was my Transformers Studio Series Wave 14 ranking video. I really hope you enjoyed this video of Wave 14. And tell me if you are or not in the comment section down below, whether you'll be picking all of these figures up, just a few, or, or none of them, in fact. Um, these figures, I recommend them. They are absolutely amazing. These are one of the the best Transformers City Series figures ever released. So I I was re I'm just real happy to have these figures and I'm so grateful that I have them and everything. Um, 73 Grinder, 74 Bumblebee, 75 Jolt, and 76 Thrust. Now um, it was really hard to rank these, although like like if. If Bumblebee got the first place, he would he would be buzzing his way to the first place. Or Grinder got the first place, he would be grinding his way to the first place. Or Thrust, he would be thrusting his way to the first place. Place. Uh, I think that all of these figures are just amazing. They, I feel like they're all equal to each other. They're just one of the best Transformers Studio Series figures ever. And now be tuned to the, for the channel for 1986 um, Autobot Jazz review and 19. Um, I, I'm sorry, a a Transformers Kingdom Air Razor, Dinobot Inferno, etc. And a ranking video of Wave 11, which is actually the 1980, the first 1986 wave. So be tuned on the be tuned on the channel for that. Well, that about concludes my video. This this was your friendly neighborhood Transformer reviewer, the young Transformer dude. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me if you did in the comment section down below. And in, until my next review, I will see you then. Thanks for watching, and, and I do recommend these figures. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.